Well, we all know that the Eagles really aren't most likely not going to make the playoffs, sitting at 6-7 and seven after their loss to the Cowboys, but this blow is probably the hardest blow to the team this whole season. Uh, Carson Wentz, like we have all known, it's the past couple of days he's been dealing, apparently dealing with back spasms, but now he has a strex, stress fracture in his back, which most likely will sideline him for the rest of the season. And his recovery time most likely will take at least three months to recover from this injury. And it seems to me like, did Carson or Doug Peterson know anything about this injury? Or did the medical staff just hide everything and just said Carson was 100% to go? They just rubbed some dirt on the on the wound and he said he was fine. Could that possibly be what's wrong? Or... Did they know and they just forced Carson to start? And could that be the reason why Carson has been struggling the way he's been struggling this whole season? Yeah, you can also add that. The offensive line in front of him wasn't that good. We didn't really have that many wide receivers. But you can also see it in Carson himself. He just wasn't really the Carson Wentz we all knew he could be this season. Like, he was overthrowing passes. He was getting... He wasn't utilizing his movement at all he wasn't able to run move the ball and stuff so going into these final three games against LA Houston and Washington where Nick Foles is confirmed most likely to be the starter for Sunday and most likely he's going to be the starter for the rest of the season and you get now Eagles fans are saying yeah I'm happy Nick Foles is starting these next three games, Carson's not the guy, Carson once sucks, it's all, all of that malarkey. And that is wrong to say as a fan base. Carson Wentz right now is the future of the Philadelphia Eagles. This is, is, this is his team. We all did not know he would be injured right after coming off of that ACL injury. All they told us, he was 100% to go, he was ready to play football. And this upcoming news, everyone's just saying, oh, Carson's not the guy, he's uh, all that mumbo-jumbo. And that, that's just wrong to say. You shouldn't be wishing injury upon a player just because they're not performing to their expectations. Carson was injured this whole season, we did not know that. That's probably why he wasn't performing the way he should perform. And... I'm not discrediting Nick Foles, but the few starts that Nick Foles had this season, they were they were iffy, even though we won a couple of them. They were iffy, especially at that game against Atlanta in the first week of the season. It, it was, eh. Nick Foles, I'm not going to discredit him. He is a decent backup. Yes, he did bring us on that miracle run last year through the playoffs after Wentz tore his ACL. And this city will forever worship Foles as the quarterback that brought us a Super Bowl. But Nick Foles isn't the guy. He is a good backup. He's not a good starter. He's that type of quarterback that when something's wrong with your starting quarterback, he can come in and play a good game. He can come in and come in as a backup. He'll play good. But over a few couple of games, he's going to show what's wrong with his game. He's going to show his weaknesses. Yeah, you could say, I could say last year, he just got hot at the right time in that NFC Championship game against Minnesota in, in the Super Bowl against New England. He just got hot at the right time, and so did the Eagles. They got hot at the right time. Uh, I just... I just don't like the fact that people are discrediting Wentz, saying he's just... He's not the future of this team. We drafted him number two overall for a reason. He was going to be something. He is something. He proved that last year. This year, he was just piled with an injury we did not know about and possibly he didn't know about at all the medical staff just li released this like a day or two ago so I'm not blaming this season at all on Carson Wentz yes he does need to get better I will say he does need to improve a little bit but this whole season you can't blame on Carson a quarterback can't do everything on the field it all depends on the offensive line in front of him the players around him in general he didn't really have that good bunch of people around him besides like Zach Ertz or Alison Jeffrey or anything like that. He didn't really have a good running back system. The run pass options, they weren't really working. So The system around him just didn't work this season. So he can't be blaming Carson for the entirety of this downfall of the season right now, but 
And what are you going to do? Philadelphia fans are Philadelphia fans, and they express their hatred or love for a player whenever they can. So, what do you guys think about Carson Wentz right now? How do you feel about Nick Foles going into the final three weeks of the season? Do you think he can pull off the miracle like he did last year, or do you just think the Eagles are done? Because right now, I do think the Eagles are just done, and they should just focus on the upcoming draft. But yeah, finish these three games. But, I, my opinion, they're done. So, don't forget to drop a like on the, on the video, boys, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.